to solve this logarithmic equation, the first thing that we want to do is we want to condense the log expressions on the left-hand side. Since they're both joined with a plus sign, we know that the property we use is going to be the multiplication property. So this side condenses as log base 6 of 2x minus 6 times x. And then we still have equal to 2. Now log base 6 of 2x minus 6 times x, we can simplify by distributing this x. So we have 2x times x, which is 2x squared, and 6 times x, so minus 6x. The next thing that we want to do is we want to rewrite in exponential form. So if log base 6 of 2x squared minus 6x is 2, then by definition, 6 squared is 2x squared minus 6. Okay, so we have this 6 raised to this power is equal to this. Okay, now we can simplify the 6x squared as 36. And now, now that we have a quadratic, what we want to do is we want to get 0 on one side. Okay, and we do that by subtracting 36 from both sides. Now since each of these coefficients has 2 as a factor, the next step that we want to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2. So we get 0 from the left hand side. 2x squared divided by 2, the 2's cancel and leave us with x squared, minus 6x over 2 cancels to minus 3x, and negative 36 over 2 simplifies to negative 18. And now what we want to do is factor this quadratic. So in order to get a product of x squared from the first slots, we need to have x and x. And now the product of the last two slots needs to be negative 18, and we need to have a sum of negative 3. So let's do minus 6 and plus 3, and that'll work out. Now we want to use the zero product property to finish solving this. So we have x minus 6 times x plus 3 equals 0, so that means that either x minus 6 is equal to 0, or x plus 3 is equal to 0. And so what that means is that from the first equation, x is equal to 6. From the second equation, x is equal to negative 3. Okay, but now we have to check for extraneous solutions. So let's start by checking x equals 6. What we want to do is we want to plug 6 into the x's in this equation, the original equation, and see if it is actually, the left side is actually equal to 2. So 2x minus 6, if we plug in 6, we get 2 times 6, which is 12, minus 6, which is 6. So we get log base 6 of 6, plus log base 6 of 6. And the question is, does that equal 2? Okay, this 2 right there. Well, log base 6 of 6 is just 1. And so again, here we have plus log base 6 of 6, which is 1. Does that equal 2? Yes, 1 plus 1 does equal to 2. So it means x equals 6 is a solution. Now let's check x equals negative 3. Well, right away, I can see here that if we plug in negative 3 to this log base 6 of x and get to get log base 6 of negative 3 we get something that is is undefined okay you cannot take the log of a negative number so right away I see that I can't plug in negative 3 for this x so I know that x equals negative 3 is an extraneous solution so I know that x equals 6 is the only solution to this log equation 
Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so what we wanted to start by doing here is isolating this natural log of 2 plus x. We do that by first subtracting 4 from both sides. We get 3 times the natural log of 2 plus x equals 2. And now we need to divide both sides by 3 to get rid of this 3 in front. So this side simplifies to just natural log of 2 plus x equals two-thirds. Okay, now we're ready to rewrite an exponential form. For the natural log, we always want to imagine a little base e down there. So the exponential form of this is going to be e to the two-thirds equals two plus x. Okay, so this guy e raised to this guy on the other side of the equal equals this. This to this is this. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we just need to subtract 2 from both sides to finish isolating x. So the left hand side becomes e to the 2 thirds minus 2 equals x. Okay, once again we should check to make sure this is not an extraneous solution. So we need to plug in e to the 2 thirds minus 2 for this x in the original equation. So we have 3 times the natural log of 2 plus x. So 2 plus e to the 2 thirds minus 2 plus 4 equals 6 and equal with a question mark because we don't know it's equal, we're checking it. Okay, let's go inside these parentheses. Order of operation says we can do this 2 minus this 2. It'll cancel out. So we have 3 times the natural log of e to the 2 thirds plus 4 and 6. Okay, natural log of e to the 2 thirds because of this e down here is just two-thirds. So this side becomes three times this two-thirds plus four. The question is, does that equal six? Well, three times two-thirds is really three over one times two-thirds. These threes cancel, and we're just left with two plus four. and that does indeed equal 6. Okay, so that means that x equals e to the 2 thirds minus 2 is a solution to this original equation here. 3 times the natural log of 2 plus x plus 4 equals 6.